The Lord gave me three words in Hebrew. Alia Shinoya. Each of these three words are found throughout Scripture, and you can look them up in Strong's Concordance in order to glean the richer uh, layers of their depth of meaning, because, of course, with Hebrew words and the letters within Hebrew words, there is a lot of poetry, and so we can glean a lot of depth of meaning by looking deeper. But I'm going to just give you the main takeaway. And if you choose to look into the letters, um, into the words more deeply, um, then you may do that. And I know that um, you'll find it edifying. And so alia is a word for elevate or ascend. It's also a word for upper room. And it's also the word for um, the Israelites returned to Israel. Um, which God promises to do in the latter days. And the next word, shin, is probably the one that has the most meaning packed into it with many different layers. Uh, Shin is a Hebrew letter and it means teeth, press, sharp, and change. It also can mean destroy and judgment. And it is actually the shape of Jerusalem. And I've included a picture in the cover photo to this video. And you may look that up for yourself as well. Pictures of Jerusalem and the valleys around it shaped like the letter Shin. It's also the shape of the human heart. um, Where, of course... God desires that we enthrone his law. And of course, it's also the shape of a crown as well. And um, so this is a very profound word. And the next word is Oya. Aliashin Oya. And Oya means woe. And I think that the meaning of these three words together is that if we are not ascending in the kingdom of God by pursuing Jesus in the secret place, in the upper room where we receive his spirit, where we, where we receive of his anointing, and where we are walking in obedience and walking in his precepts, then woe to us for we will face judgment and destruction because God is a merciful God, but he is also an all or nothing God and we cannot serve two masters. And he is loudly calling his people to come up, come up and watch with him, to seek him, to seek the higher things of God. And he wants to press. Shin means press. He wants to impress and imprint us with himself. With himself. Uh, But so many are imprinted by this world. Because we are not willing to lie down in surrender to God under the pressures of, of tribulation. And under the pressure of laying down our flesh and dying to ourselves and picking up our crosses and following Jesus. Scripture says you are a city on a hill and a city on a hill must shine its light for all to see. It cannot be hidden under a basket. It does no good that way. And so God is calling us up to be this city on a hill, to ascend his word, to climb the mountain of obedience and of revelation and of love for him. Because those who are lukewarm, it says in the book of Revelation, he will spit out of his mouth. So we have Alia, which means ascend, upper chamber, upper room, return to Israel. And of course that, I believe, since the Lord gave me this message, and I am in Canada, this means a return to, this means spiritual, this is referring to spiritual Israel. Because of course Gentiles are grafted in to Israel by faith in Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. And then Shin, which means press, teeth, sharp, change, judgment, or destroy. And it's the shape of Jerusalem, according to the valleys around it, and Oya, which means woe. And I will go into the word now that he gave me. 
This word is entitled, Prepare the Armory. And an armory is a place where weapons are made, stored, and where soldiers are trained. And that is the mission of this channel going forward. Daughter, I am sending my warrior bride with a battle cry to awaken the dry bones that lie dormant in the valley. For I declare that all sleepers must rise and proclaim their answer. Will they serve me or remain in their slumber, comfortable and filling the desires of their flesh with the delicacies of this world and the pride of life? Faith without works is dead, my daughter. Those who are not for me are against me. But a smoking flax I will not quench, and a bruised reed I shall not break. I will raise flesh and sinew upon these bones, and they will rise under my new song with a rumble and a roar of my thunder that will shake the earth, and all will know that I am that I am. I am raising shofars of thunder to the lips of my vessels to call my people to repentance, that they will worship me and me alone. There will be an echo in the valley that will proclaim my son. Where is his blood? Where, O oh church, is his bloodshed? For you have not yet resisted temptation to the point of bloodshed. Noise, noise, noise. Such worship is a stench in my nostrils. Come to the cross. Be silent and examine your hearts before me. Wail, O Babylon, wail, O church. Put on sackcloth and ashes and mourn for your idolatry. I do not despise those who are contrite in heart. Repent, for my kingdom is at hand. Repent at my rebuke, and I will pour out my thoughts on you. Those whom I love, I also chasten. Do not despise my discipline. Do not recoil from my correction, for it will be like fine gold upon your ear. Those who reject my gifts reject me. Those who humble themselves before me, I will exalt. Those who exalt themselves will be brought lower than they can fathom. I will show people that every good thing comes from my hand. I have been generous and long-suffering with you, and yet you continue to live for this world, to fill your bellies and satisfy the lusts of your eyes. All of these delicacies will soon become bitter, but those who hear my word and obey it will be like honey that sustains, even in famine. Do not be only hearers of my word, but doers of my word. The time of testing is at hand. Fear has entrapped many from walking in obedience. Fear only gains a stronghold when one has an inordinate love of self. Come to me, repent, and I will cleanse you and crown you. I tell you to pick up your cross and follow the Lamb. You cannot serve two masters. Am I a man that I should lie? Nay, I cannot lie, but you lie to yourselves. You emulate the world around you and conform to the doctrines of man taught in the modern church that looks like the world. My people are a peculiar people. They are not of this world. They have come out of the world because they are of my kingdom. My kingdom is not of this world. If they loved the world, the world would love them as its own. But because they are not of the world, the world hates them. Blessed are you when you are insulted, mocked, and hated because of me, for great is your reward in heaven. 
for so they persecuted the prophets who went before. Woe to you when all men speak well of you. Do not drink the sour wine of the opinions of men, for I will put a cup of staggering into their hands, and they will drink it down to the dregs. Your pride blinds your recognition of my Son, who is the spirit of prophecy. I choose the foolish things to confound the wise. Sodom and Egypt remain obstinate, daughter. I am spewing from my mouth all who have laid with her and have not repented. I will not have a defiled people. I will have a pure and chaste church. No one who puts their hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom. Yet not even these have put their hands to the plow. They name my love, but they know it not. They wave my mercy like a banner, but fear me not. I call out to them, Do you want mercy? Behold Jesus, King of the Jews. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please feel free to email me through the submission form on my website at gospelinthegarden.com and I would be happy to walk you through the scriptures. It's incredibly simple. I'd also encourage you to subscribe on my blog as I also publish uh, messages on there and not all of them make it onto YouTube, um, especially because of censorship. And the scripture that I use to test this message, I will include uh, below. I encourage people to look up them. I encourage people to look them up in order to gain the context. Thanks for listening. God bless you.